Welcome back to uh, the second part of the spotlight on Mike Pluck. Um, by this point, this is his second year um, working in the business and um, one of the things that Marvel started to do was put in different anchors to work with uh, Pluck, perhaps to uh, get the book uh, to get to deadline sooner. But um, here you have Frank Bow, definitely a name I'm not familiar with, and his inking was okay. You know, one of the things that become very apparent to me as I look through many of the Werewolf by Night books that I have with my plug is that there is no replacement for anchors that should work with my plug. Maybe Tom Palmer in the perfect scenario but then again Tom Palmer probably can work with any authors and make make it work can complement any authors any penciler but when it comes down to uh, other inkers as you can see right here it just was not a good fit that's the best way I can describe it it was okay but I felt that you know something is lost with the way Frank ink over my book penciling. I'm not gonna go through the entire book, but I just want to give you an example of um, Brooks' uh, work when he worked with other inkers, as you can see. Personally, I thought this was okay. I think Frank Bow was a better match compared to many other anchors that work with plug. Okay, so there you go, as you can see. Decent, but at the same time, you know, it's just not the way I picture plug would ink it if he did. Another way, another thing that could have con uh, contributed to the art didn't come out as well as perhaps, uh, you know, with the deadline, he didn't put as much detail into the penciling. That's always a possibility, okay? So I'm not blaming the anchors for the less than great work in this book. So I don't know. You know I don't know what kind of uh, penciling he uh, put laid down, laid down in... Uh, these books but so his issue 7 and this time is Jim Mooney working with him and this actually I like this the least out of many uh, teams that work uh, with uh, Brook okay as you can see right here I can definitely still see Pluck. You know, if I was opening up this book, and you know, there's no doubt his penciling style would jump out at me, but at the same time, the inking would also tell me right away, right off the bat, that this is not, look at that, this is not Pluck's inking. I don't even have to look at the credit, so. There you go, that's issue seven. Now, this is, you know, something entirely much better. This is a, a fantastic cover, okay? And in this book, Plug did the inking himself and it's night and day, night and day. I can't emphasize enough how incredible this is just look at that incredible compared to the previous two book that I shown you trust me just look at that
there's no way you would see this kind of details with the other two inkers. No way. Compared to the first video where I show his earlier work and his earlier inking on his own penciling, you can see how he has evolved a year later, over a year later, as you can see, this is just fantastic. Brooke is another artist that also do a wonderful job in the fantasy genre. The sword, the swords, and he can draw Conan just as well as anybody. Horse, horses, swords, sorcery, half naked men and half naked women. Let's look at the tiger. Beautiful. Just look at the details on the horse. This is a great page right here. Great action right here. Let's look at that. And there you go. The last two pages of this. This this is just a beautifully drawn book. No other way to describe it. Okay, it's classic. One of Brooke's best, in my opinion. As far as uh, non horror is concerned, I just love that page. Okay, so uh, let's see. For this One Wolf by Night, once again. Uh, different anchor as you can see so now we a few months later um, he worked with Frank I'm not sure how to pronounce that last name so I'm not gonna even butcher and Frank was okay as you can see I think it, this flash page definitely turns out okay but then it become really once again not a good fit this just does not look like the way Brooke would want it to come out. You know, it's just 
it's easy to see how finding the right anchors, the right complementary anchors is just so hard. It's not an easy task. So I'm just going to give you a few, a look at a few pages to see. I'm sure if Luke had the time and energy to put, to do the work himself as far as inking, I'm sure he would over you know, handing this over to somebody else to finish the books. Okay, so this is a great covers, one of uh, better men thing. I believe this is the first issue that he took over. The first four issues of man thing uh, was drawn by somebody else. This is also ink by Frank. I love that splash page. Let's look at that. That look awesome. It's funny, you know. Every time I look at the um, Man Thing book, it reminds me so much of Swamp Thing and even the style. This is a pretty cool looking book, you know. But uh, as before. I felt the inking was very uneven. And as you can see right here, I think on the pages like this, you know, it just didn't come out very well in my opinion. other pages look at that that's a lot of good details right there for Frank that's why you know I, I said that you know, I, I think it's both a combination of the anchors as well as look maybe having to rush through the pages and just look at this this is one of the not so good pages you know I can praise look at the right places but at the same time there are some pages that just didn't come out very good at all. It's in these two pages. All three pages. It's like, look at that. He just need more time. You know, it's become very apparent if you look through all these books that Frank, uh, that um, my plug needed, needed a lot more time to do it right. I love this cover. Great covers. He only did the work for a giant size man thing one. I believe all the rest was not. Once again, it's Frank. In doing the inking, hopefully, um, you know, if you have never collected any of these books and watching this, uh, this artist spotlight on my book, it would uh, pick your interest. And go out there and buy books that were drawn by Mike Pluck. As you can see, you know the 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 combination of Frank and Mike Pluck just didn't produce the same kind of magic that we saw when Mike Pluck did everything himself and had the time to do everything himself. Uh, and that would conclude the second part of um, the spotlight on Mike Pluck. I will come back with the last and final episode of the spotlight on Mike Pluck. Thanks for watching. Bye.